we're on welcome everyone to sip and shop season three episode six i am your host andrea fair with the bailey welcome facebook live welcome instagram live and see you all out there checking it out yes we were just doing a little behind the scenes if you want to catch us i tend to go up like 11 58 on instagram live so if you want to do that head on that way and then click on and follow through with us and of course we are on roku on q vision sign up for free on roku hit q vision you can see all the seasons from the very beginning all the way to the current on q vision if you ever need a little extra taste of sip and shop to pull you through your week go there but again i welcome you to your saturday beauty break your Saturday refresher, your Saturday check-in. Isn't that important? The check-in. That's the part, y'all. The check-in. Um, that's why this week we did a little thing of spilling the tea because, you know, I'll get to that in a second. But you know what time it is. Let's get your libations, please. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get the libation. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have a celebration. Let's do it. Ow. Let's do it. Oh, so clearly I have a cup of tea. Well, if it's a cup of tea you're drinking like me, or you have a glass, mug, flute, solo cup, bottle, whatever it is, please make it a healthy choice because we want you to honor your temple very important um, for you to stay healthy and hydrated, yeah. Everyone, thank you for making the choice of being here at this moment for Sip and Shop. Thank you for allowing us to have this platform with you, right? Because it's not just us. We want you to share as well um, and to experience it with us. Uh, you know, Sip and Shop was a platform created during COVID as a way to connect and we're still here and we will be here for as long as you will have us. And so we're grateful right now for being able to have woken up in our right mind um, with having a sphere, this sphere of peace around us and healthiness, abundance of joy, prosperity, um, celebrating, celebrating life at this very moment right now with you. So salute. Mm. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. What are you drinking out there? I am having one of my favorite teas, Earl Grey. Earl Grey tea with just a little spot of honey. It's the perfect temperature. That's why I responded like that. Um, a spot of honey and a little splash of coconut milk, like soy delicious. Coconut milk, just a little splash, just to give, give it a little something. How do you take your tea? Oh, you all like lemon? You know, I go back and forth. Like, sometimes I'm lemon. I find that this season I've been majority like this coconut milk thing or oat milk. But, you know, every now and then I'll... I always love honey in it. You know, if I am going to do anything a little honey. But, you know, sometimes lemon. What about you? Sugar and lemon. Yes. Maxwell, what kind of sugar are you using? Are you using like brown sugar, white sugar? You know, tell us, tell us what kind of sugar you're using. Let me take another sip. Mm. See, I got my little candle going, my yellow, wanted some color this week. Okay, do you know what day it is? You know what time it is? It is time to celebrate November birthdays! November birthday shout outs! And I'm doing a whopping, I'm not even warmed up. November birthday shout outs! That means all the Scorpios in the house. This is your time, baby. Your time. Let's get down with the Scorpio. November has no shortage of good news for the fellow Scorpio natives. By nature, Scorpio natives put their work first. In November, you will overcome many professional obstacles. Mm. November is the perfect month for you to achieve your most ambitious goals. 
Achieve it, Scorpio. Achieve it. This is your time. 2021, achieve your goals, your most ambitious goals. That's a big one. Your most ambitious goals. So anything that you had fear with, let's go for the breakthrough. Let's go for it. Get there, Scorpio. We are with you. Get there. Yes. Um, what does the Scorpio Zodic sign? So, um, good day. What does the Scorpio Zodiac sign, Andrea? Get it together, girl. What's, what does the Scorpio Zodiac sign symbolize? Well, Scorpio is the eighth sign of the Zodiac and is symbolized by the scorpion. The scorpion represents the sting. Ah! Ah! The sting or the stylized motion of the signs characteristically intense. So it comes together and profound penetration into depth. Ooh, if you know any Scorpios out there, you do something to them, those mothers will sting your ass. They'll get you. Scorpio will get you. That's if they've been hurt deeply though, because I find that the Scorpios that I know tolerate a lot. I don't know about you, but I, um, you said white sugar. I know it's not the best, but it's once in a while to enjoy that. That makes well, there's no um, judgment here. Yeah, everybody loves a little taste of a little white sugar every now and then. And I'm not talking about the one up the nose, so don't try me. I'm talking about the one in your sugar cup. That's what I mean, because here at Sip and Shop, we stay healthy. So don't try to play and don't try to debate. But again, I digress. Back to Scorpio because it's your birthday. The Scorpios that I know, if they are hurt, they get hurt deeply and they will sting you behind at some point. So good day to you. But Scorpios, we are rooting for you out there for this to be your most ambitious time to go for your goals. You can do it. So we believe in you. Yes. I guess it's time for me to let you know in my an anchor voice, my network anchor voice, Eddie is on assignment. That means the voice is not here. I am solo today, presenting solo, but I'm never solo because I'm with you all, right? Facebook Live, Instagram Live, Q Vision, we're all over all the platforms. And <sighs> oh, this is a funny one. Hold on. Before I even let you in on this, I need to take another sip. What's going on out there? Anyone have anything to say? Amen to waking up with peace. That's right. I always feel like we have to give acknowledgement to Jesus Christ is my personal savior. Whomever you believe in, please honor. I think before you even get up out the bed, it makes a difference because not everyone is able to do that. They can't even move on their own. I remember those moments when I had my back issues. I think I mentioned to you many years ago, it was like very early on, like in the year and a half of first getting married, I wrenched my back, didn't realize how bad it was until two years later, herniated lower disc, herniated. And that thing changed my life. It was major. So I remember those times. So yeah, even if you can move on your own, that's a blessing, and I think, you know, you should acknowledge that before you even get up out of the bed. But that's just me. I digress. Once again, I digress. So let me tell y'all this. Y'all, I don't know what you're going to say about this part. But I am team something <laughs> right now as of last week. If you could guess what this is. It's major, though. For me, it's major. It's major because spirit was telling me that I needed to take this particular thing. Guess which team I'm on now, y'all. Just take a wild guess. Wild. That's a good one. Wild. I am team sardines. At the, at the tender age, the tender vital age of 52, for the very first time ever, in my life, I never had sardines. Sit with that for a second. Ponder, ponder on that. I never tasted 
I smelt them, but never ever in my life did I ever taste a sardine, except for this past week. I'll tell you in a second. And it was freaking delicious. Okay, so this is what happened. So um, I was looking at uh, an Instagram page of an old, old friend, right? And they spoke about sardines. And this person I respected, you know, because of the way they eat and, you know, very smart with, you know, understanding now the power of working out. So they're getting it and they're doing their thing. And it's really nice to see this person's evolution, but they spoke heavily about sardines and it kind of stuck with me. And I was like, hmm. But stuck with me in a different way this time. Like before I would be repelled by like sardines. Good day. Good day to a sardine. Not happening. But now, you know, because from a kid, I was a fool. Like just like, ooh, sardines, daddy. Ooh, they stink. My dad ate a lot of sardines when we were little. And I was acting like, ooh. <laughs> What sardine? It smelled. Ooh, all of that, right? For years. And then now, like, this time, specifically this past week, I just, you know, when you get a conviction on something and it's like saying, you need this. Hey, Paul Anthony. And it's saying that you need to get into this thing. So I called my father, right? My dad. And I said, Daddy, guess what? What? In his Belize voice, what? What? And I said, I want to start eating sardines. And he was like, well, get in it. And I said, well, I don't know like which one to get. And apparently my dad likes a specific one, Brunswick. And he said, get that because he's like an expert in, you know, for him, like sardines. He's tried a lot. He says he likes that kind. So I said, okay, I'll get it. How should I prepare it? And he said, well, do you like tuna fish? What was I thinking, y'all? What was I thinking all these years? If I can eat tuna fish, you know I can get down with a daggone sardine. I was like, oh my God. And I said, daddy. And he was like, what? And I said, I cannot believe that if I've been eating tuna fish after all these years, why can't I then also have a sardine? I must, I, I, I'll be able to eat it. And it was like, he said, of course you will. So he said, this is what you do. Do you eat tuna straight out of the can? And I said, no, I've never done that. That's not my wheelhouse. I know some people that do, that's not me. I like to mix it up with stuff. He said, okay, do the same thing. Just drain off the water, right? And make it the same exact way that you make your tuna fish. Y'all, when I tell you that thing was banging. Okay, this is how I, I made it. Drained off the tuna, the uh, sardine, I got it with water, in spring water. I drained it off just like I do my tuna fish. And then I did just a little drop of um, mayonnaise, a little bit, minced it all up. Did black pepper, sweet relish. I put some celery in there and white onion. Oh God. It was so fabulous. I sat there and ate the whole thing. How about this? Let's get into the benefits of sardines because there are many and I did not know this. Did you all know? Did you all know the power of the sardine? How fierce it is and do you even eat sardines? So first of all, it's saying that sardines, eating this food once a week can slash your diabetes risk. Didn't know that. Any of you that have diabetes or borderline out there, they're saying if you eat a can, a can of uh, sardines per week, it will lower the risk of your diabetes. Also, it's saying you can't eat it too much. Okay, so that's something that I needed to read because once I get into something, I can go overboard at times. Are you that way? Like if you like a taste, you can go overboard. So it's saying to eat sardines no more than like two to three times per week. Definitely not every day because of the, um, it has low levels of mercury in it, but you don't want to go overboard, but definitely like two is great. Three, don't push any more than three times per week. So it's saying that, um, 
Oh my god. Okay, so the average calories aren't bad for a full can, one can, um, 150 in terms of calories, protein, 17 grams of protein, no carbs, no fiber. Uh, it's an excellent source. Sardines are an excellent source of vitamin B12. This is this vitamin helps your cardiovascular system and gives you energy. In addition, they contain a healthy amount of vitamin D. Um, but along with the B12, vitamin D is necessary for good bone health throughout your life. And I got to tell you guys, there's a host of um, other things that sardines rich in protein um helps with inflammation helps to reduce inflammation i know i get that um definitely inflammation when it hits me it hits me in my knee um the right knee uh it's dance old dance injuries from turning out so you know i get it there and this thing about this bone health and um the essential vitamins and minerals so you know guys i'm team sardine now that's it. And I'm grateful, but I really felt the conviction because it came on me. Do you know when it just gets in your mind that this thing is for you? Mom, well, I'm team sardine. And I want to try it with the hot sauce too because my dad was like, douse it with the hot sauce. You know, I'm going to get there, daddy. I'm going to get there. So, um, yeah. Let's take a sip for that. Team sardine. Yeah, y'all thought I was going to say team something else, right? You suckers. Mm-hmm. Yo, it's so dirty. Dirty deeds. Okay. What are you watching? May I make a suggestion? Thank you, I shall. Almost snapped my dag on neck doing that. Trying to be funny. Uh-huh. That's what happens. We a necro warm-up. Ow. Okay. I'm back on something again, y'all. Every now and then I like to repeat. It happened again. The, just the other day. I made a repeat watching of something. A movie that I hold near and dear. The 1974 film of... Claudine! Keep away from him! Oh, oh, oh! Mr. Welfare! Just keep on, I must divorce him. Okay, the reason why I got back into Claudine, not just that, I was taking a detox bath. That's how it all started. I was taking my detox bath. I think you all remember what that is for me. It's seven parts lavender oil, seven parts eucalyptus, and seven parts either tea tree or peppermint, right? And I, cause I was feeling kind of, you know, like how this week in New York, um, the weather has been like forties, fifties. And so I started getting like a chill on me and I said, you know what? I need to relax. And I was kind of tight wound up by it. And, um, I then got in the tub, did my detox soak, but added music to it. And I was feeling Claudine and I needed to listen to the soundtrack and I'm so dope that I wanted to test myself to make sure that I knew the scenes that accommodated the soundtrack. I got it right. That's how many times I've watched this film. I love that that film. To me, it's timeless and, and very real, I would imagine. Um, and so I started getting into the genius again of Curtis Mayfield. Now we did this very early on in Sip and Shop where we did speak about Curtis Mayfield and everything, but this time, Wanted to go more into him as the person because I always looked at it like men that can write for women like Rick James did for Mary Jane Girls and produce for them, wrote for them. And Curtis Mayfield having to write primarily from the viewpoint of a woman, which was the lead character, Claudine, but then also for other characters in the film, like for Francis, the little son was the song Invisible, which breaks my heart every time. To be invisible is my claim to fame. Oh, I don't have to be on the scene. Oh, Anyway, if you get a chance, you can watch Claudine for free on YouTube. You can go check it out on YouTube if you want to see what I'm speaking of. But anyway, 
to me, Curtis Mayfield was always one of those um, artists that could um, speak to the times. Um, definitely an activist through his music. And the other unfortunate thing is um, when he was injured at Wingate Park in Brooklyn, which was August 13th, 1990, I was there with my friends, my girlfriends um, at Wingate. I remember that day was a, a gray, muggy summer. And I know I was specifically excited to see him there because we were going to a free concert at Wingate Field. And I remember I was looking to the right when it happened and he was coming from the left. And so I didn't see when it fell on him, I heard it. I just kind of like turned my head and then saw like the aftermath of it when he was like going down. So the hit already happened and I saw when he was going, falling down and no one knew how bad it was, but they're saying here, I thought it was a speaker. Um, they're saying on August 13th, 1990, Mayfield became paralyzed from the neck down after stage lighting equipment fell on him while he was being introduced at the outdoor concert at Wingate Field. Yeah. I, I thought, I always thought it was a speaker. They're saying that it was lighting equipment, but he went down and you know, I kept, I don't, I don't, he didn't perform after that because no one knew how bad it, the injury was again. No one knew, but it wasn't until like a couple of days later that I remember reading in the daily news that he was paralyzed. And I'm telling y'all, I went numb because I was like, oh my God, first of all, Wingate is a free concert. And I don't know, they say that the, the artists do it for free. So let me say this. Let me correct that. It's a free concert for the community. Let me say that. I'm not sure whether or not the artists get paid to come, but it is in the end a free concert for the community. So they don't charge admission. Um, Wingate was very generous and you got to see a lot of amazing artists that artists that way. And so I know I specifically went that day to see Curtis Mayfield. It is unfortunate and it was heartbreaking that that brother became paralyzed because of, as I said, mentioned incident, accident. But let's go into Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Lee Mayfield, born June 3rd, 1942, and he passed on December 26, 1999, was an American singer, songwriter, guitarist, and record producer, and one of the most influential musicians behind soul and politically conscious African-American music. He was born in the Cook County Hospital in Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. Had ten children. He liked the bone. I wonder if he did it through his music. You know, I better stop fooling around with this neck because my neck is tightening out from that foolishness. Um, I'm just saying I could imagine a lot of women being in love with him with you know that's how it goes. Like I love him. I feel connected to his music. That's my man. Don't match with Curtis. That's my man. I'm sure a lot of women felt that way because he was just so gifted, so talented. You know, that's how it goes. But um, that particular album, that soundtrack for Claudine, the fact that Gladys Knight led and the, the pips were her background for every single song on there, except for one. There's one that's more of a symphonic masterpiece, which again, Curtis Mayfield, brother, let me just get this. You are not and never ever will be forgotten. Your music lives on through your work and I'm sure through the lineage of your children, your family. Thank you so much. Thank you, and we salute you. Mm. Curtis Mayfield had to be very deep, a deep individual to write like that, right? Gotta give it up for Curtis Mayfield. All right, y'all. So let's get into this. 
let's get into some beauty makeup fun. Mm-hmm. Always love that. Okay, so today was a, a hoot because I wanted to do something a little different. Let me come a little closer to you. So this one is Black Star. And Black Star is a metallic, has flicks, right? Metallic in it of our black eyeshadow. I love it because there's no fallout from it. So you can smoke with it or you can create your eyeliner with it. And today I was able to create the eyeliner with the duo brush. This side has, you can still see the black on it because I didn't clean it yet. But this duo brush from Fair Weather Faces is amazing because it doesn't just do eyes, but if you get an extra one, you can do lips with it and just like the full part and then razor out the edge with the thin part. But today was my eyeliner day and Instagram, I'll do it this way for you, right? And Facebook, I'll do it this way for you. And because of this razor edge, I was just able to create these blushes. I'm loving this, y'all. I don't know about you, but I'm digging it. Um, line. Now, if you're not a, a pro artist, it will take you a second to do it. I'm extremely anal, so it took me like a good like seven minutes on each side to, to finish it. It would have taken longer, but I mean, you know, I didn't want to go too, too big with it because I didn't wear false lashes today. I was going to, but I decided not to because I wanted to show you that you could do this, this proportioned like this, um, the winged black star eyeshadow as your liner. You could do it without wearing lashes. So I did, um, Really, this is just one pump of mascara. I didn't even do two or three. I just did one pump of black on the top. What I did do to be strategic was I used our beam, the beam eyeshadow, which is like a champagne-y. I love this. And so I just used this one with the duo brush. Put a little here right on the brow bone just to open it a little bit you know not too much especially when like this you don't want it to compete with this kind of liner the liner tells the story in this let me just even it up for the facebook side the liner so it's just a little bit on the brow bone just to open it and that's with the beam with the fat part of the duo the beam shadow beautiful beautiful color and everyone it's universal so it doesn't matter what your complexion is everyone can wear beam okay everyone can do it and I try to do that with my eyeshadow um, creations is to think universally how can you do it so you can stay budget conscious and you're not buying like a whole lot of products well I'm telling you I believe that you should have black star metallic eyeshadow in your kit as well as beam which i use today as the brow bone highlighter but of course you can use it on your lower lid to open up or in the corners it's a great product and they're both universal products i of course was sleepy today so you know me i used a little bit of peach right under there and around my nose and on my blemishes because I know, you know, I told you I'm suffering from the mask. Then I did my concealer over it, blended it down, and then I did a drop of Hollywood, right? Just to create that, to decrease the puffiness that was under my eyes, the puffiness and darkness, just a swatch under there. And so the light, where's my light? Mm, my light. It reflects it, but I actually do have puffiness under my eyes right now, but it's softened down because of the peach. That was the color that I chose. You could also use brightener if you're lighter, but if you're my complexion and darker, um, like um, the chocolate beauties like um, uh, Angela Bassett and Baola, out that way, even the men like Sidney Poitier, um, my dad, you know, complexions like that, Eddie. You know, sometimes the men I do, Eddie's grooming for his television appearances, and I will use that peach. 
under there to knock out those um that puffiness and it works and then i put some hollywood underneath and he's like babe make make sure it looks like skin of course of course i'm gonna make it look like skin because i'm not about um making the face look like a mask i like to show off the skin and this is the way to do it i didn't use any contour today y'all i instead decided to use pink boost blush pink boost as my contour right i felt like i was having an okay day even though i had some sour cream potato chips last night i just knew my face was gonna look like this but it didn't when i woke up i think i took enough water last night to release that sodium so um, my face was okay you know it wasn't too puffy so i decided you know what i'm gonna chill from using the contours today and I'm going to contour with the blush instead and I like it because what it does is it gives a softness to this look with this winged out eyeliner and the lips get to lips in a second so it was just a little drop you don't use too much this is about where you're going with it right it's not a whole lot shake it off smile mm -hmm. Back to the hairline. Back to the hairline, right? Make sure it's even, right? Of Pink Boost. Now, Pink Boost, and of course, I did it with the Pro Brush. You can use the Mini as well, but this is the Pro Brush for Fair Weather Faces. This is the brush set that I use all the time on my celebrity clients. That Pro Set is a beast and it will last you at least a good decade right the mini set is not designed to last that long y'all so don't think you're going to carry that one out all the way into the stratospheres that won't happen you'll be lucky if you can get through a year at best it's designed for you to use it and move on to the pro set or you know gift it to someone or actually keep it in your bag um at the office your gym bag things like that be make it become your touch-up set if you don't feel like giving it away but that's the point the mini set is just a little starter training wheels and the pro set is the one that will get you through the long haul take you through at least a decade especially if you take care of them is the idea of the pro set but pink blues let pink pink blues pink boost let's talk about the complexions for this yeah so if you are caucasian any shade latina Asian anything like that up to my complexion and even deeper if you were like um, Halle Berry um, into let me see Halle Berry into the beginnings of like Sanaa Lathan um, Gabrielle Union like into that complexion you can rock pink boost right if you're anyone that's deeper any um, darker beauties that are honey caramel chocolate beauties like um alfrey woodard angela bassett i'm just saying actresses just um you know you all of my uh celebrities out there um tanya giddens um tanya cantlow um see who else um nadelka prescott um let me see um Baola. uh who else lupita all that go with pink boost that's a deeper deeper punch of pink that we have pink boost will be in your wheelhouse oh shit. Child! that's the first time that ever happened on sipping shop oh well we're going with it we're going with it bye bye sign i'm so sorry bye bye good day good day to you sign and also i think the dag on did the shadow fall yeah Ooh. oh well it fell behind there anyway <laughs> i'm so glad eddie's not here because he'll be like not funny okay the shadow that fell is lining underneath my eye this is a two-way line the first i used the Fair Weather Faces Dark Chocolate Waterproof Dark Chocolate Dark Dark Chocolate Waterproof Eyeliner. And I just did, I didn't go like this across. I did like a little etch 
etch, etch, etch across just to give it slight definition, very, very light across the bottom lashes. Then I came in again with the duo brush, right? Uh, actually, no, it was this, the fatter, fatter head with the shadow that fell back there called Cactus. A beautiful, beautiful brown, gorgeous, gorgeous brown. And so I just dipped one little drop right in it and I went underneath, I just etched underneath all the way across and to the beginning of the winged liner, just so that it looked like the two kind of married together but not too much so this is black on top brown on the bottom but i just didn't want like that space between the two so i just did the brown just to marry the two then so that's your dark chocolate eyeliner right that started the definition on the bottom very light cactus that fell cactus eyeshadow with the fat edge and then you just blend the two together then I used, which I love, our brown mascara. I did the black, right, curling mascara on top and on the bottom, our brown, right, just to hit the brown, uh, the lashes on the bottom. So it gives them definition without competing, without competing. That was the key for this look, without competing. I'm just loving this wing, without competing with the top lashes. Are you digging it? Then this time, I've been using Skinny for a while, but this time I decided to go with the original brow pencil in one color taupe. And I just took it all the way through. And then I wanted to show you uh, the brow fix, but in a color. This one was chocolate. So you just open it up. It has that beautiful ball at the end and you just clear off the ball. And then you just go through And it just, what it does is it brings the brow together, but at the same time, it dispenses color. So it's a nice, warm, like chocolatey color. Very light-handed, y'all. I believe in being light-handed with the brow fix. It will last you a very long time. But what it, the other beauty of it is, especially if you have sparse brows, you know, my problem area right here in the front, as I... It used to be gorgeous when my hair was long and you know all of that and then buzzed it off and i had these nice flush lush brows you know and then after a while it just starts to go balder 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 you know how it goes but this gives the illusion of hair on the brows which is really nice and then i just flicked it up all the way through but today i use chocolate chocolate was the color so brow fix in chocolate y'all and for the lips, which I'm loving, to not compete with the lips, I wanted to give you a really beautiful fall nude, right? Fall winter nude can be worn for anything. If you, it can, it will look professional if you have like a Zoom lesson, or if you're going out for brunch, you know, with your friends, or you're just, you know, going shopping or whatever it is. It's a an appropriate color for all complexions. Let me explain why. We start with the taupe lipstick, right? Now taupe lipstick is one of those colors that it's not, it's very different from everything else. Think of fall like that brown in the leaf. It's not an easy color to find. That's why we have it here at Fair Weather Faces, but it's a color that will neutralize the pink in your lips. And that's the beauty of it. So it, if you like a cream feel on the lip, you go with taupe, right? The taupe lipstick first. If you like a matte feel, you might like that, more of a matte look, then you go with Brown Betty. And for both, it's just like a swatch. You're not like lathering it on. It's just like maybe two little swatches. You take your duo brush, the fat part, and you feather it out from top to bottom, feather it out. And then you take the Go Bear Lip Gloss, one of our faves and always sells out. Clean the head, 
because of course this should be lasting you forever and over the whole entire thing you can use a lip pencil today I did I used which one was this um I feathered the walnut very very light on my top lip just to get that stronger definition and to balance out my bottom and top that was it for me because that's what my lip needed but you don't have to it's totally up to you and I feathered it out really lightly but I'm always started with the bottom of go bear and then I pop I love it 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 this combination if you like a cream lipstick it's taupe first then go bear on top go bear lip gloss if you like a matte feel first then you go with the brown Betty liquid velvet lipstick and then a swatch of the go bear on top fierce and then what it does it doesn't compete you got these winged out metallic shimmery metallic without it being like gaudy metallic winged liner softness of the brown underneath pop warm that's how I contoured today with my blush I contoured with my blush you can do that as long as it's in the right spot contour with the blush and here we come in with the lips and then finally to set everything two pumps mm. yes see that glow it activates it it activates it you see you're seeing it right now it brings in the finishing touch I used the mini setting spray you can use your, use your full size it's the same formula it's just the size that's the difference right love it to set and activate it activates the highlighter it blends down your blush for you look at that gorgeous seals everything this will last me I'm not taking this off y'all I think I look cute and when Eddie comes home from his assignment let me say Eddie may we have a spot of wine maybe maybe a charcuterie board and some wine shall we i'm not taking this off i think it looks too cute oh y'all digging the cut so i did something else this past week i got my hair cut by dion if you're interested in in her and her work i will give you her um instagram information she is super dope she knew me from when I was like in my early 20s when my hair was like super long and just gorgeous. And you know, you don't appreciate nothing back then. Had it all, y'all. Still have it. Still have it all. Still have it all. But I had her, I was going through like a breakup and I was like, Dion, cut my hair. And she was like, oh, babe, you want to bob? I was like, no, buzz it. So she buzzed it all off like Gian Jane. It was dope i loved it loved it loved it loved it so you know sometimes you have to go back to your people that really know your hair and dion does so i'll give you dion's info she tightened me up she was like i'm gonna go lower for you so you don't have to you know do it hardly any maintenance it'll take you through i'm like do your thing i trust her that much so if you're interested i will give you her info after and then i decided to cut my nails because my nails were long and they grow pretty fast um you know, I, I told you, I mentioned last week about the alopecia areata. Um, you know, I have to be very careful with stress. And I just wanted like a change. And so I, you know, take like a lot of biotin and, oh, you know, those kind of supplements, the DHT blockers to keep me calm, right? And I just felt like a change. You know me, I... I think this is the third cut for the year of nails. Um, so I cut them down and I did this color is from Butter London and it's called Earl Grey. And I did do a post about it. And if you can see, I have like some discs or Swarovski crystals on my nails. Really cool. I like it. You know, people that see it, they're like, oh my God, it's dope. I like it. So, you know, here we go. Short, short, fly. How about that? Oh my goodness. So last, but certainly not least, if you are interested in learning, really sitting down with me and learning the different trademark techniques that I've created that became patented through our color coded system, we are having our final online virtual makeup events. 
this month. This month is it. Starting November 18th will be for the teens and young adults. And then the next night, November 19th, will be for the adults and the mature beauties. Yeah. And we'll pick two different looks. Um, the first one is for the teen and the young adult is the original face chart, which you get that free chart with every makeup brush set purchase. And um, it's... A universal look is with coffee colors it's fierce but if you can get that down if you can get the original face chart down which is also known as our five minute face um you will rock it you will rock all the other face charts because you'll get into the swing of using our color-coded system and that's the patented system it's pretty much like a paint by numbers for your face if you will um, you simply take the face chart and you take the makeup brush and you match the dot of the makeup brush to the face chart. So if it says red, you go to the red spots. Green, yellow, blue, that way. And it's just, you know, like a nice little guide. I'm like your makeup whisperer because it's all my thoughts, all of my beauty creations throughout the years. And it's been um, a 30 year plus journey and we have a plethora of face charts so I chose my tops that I really want you to learn for this fall winter season I chose one that's appropriate for the teens and the young adults especially if you all are taking interviews you need to master this look that will happen that night not this look the look that will happen the night of November November 18th and then on the 19th it's a completely different look it's a monochromatic look with wine colors fabulous special technique blending that is involved it's not you know it's an illusion makeup is an illusion and a lot of times it's not what you think it is it becomes what it is once we show you how to get there right so i'm trying to help you take the guesswork out of it and hopefully you can join us um it's a nominal fee and we're hoping that you consider it as a gift for yourself because it's timeless information and most times I don't have repeat clients when it comes to makeup lessons. We nail it hard enough for them to not have to come back. If they do come back, it's years later or unless they want a very specific, something completely different um, stylized look done for them and taught to them. So I'm telling you, it's well worth it. Gift it to yourself for this holiday season or gift it to one of your girls or if you know a young lady that is getting ready to go out into the workforce, they must know proper makeup application, y'all. They have to. It's not what they think it is with, I'm not going to get into it. I'll explain it that night online. But it is a wonderful group lesson. The tickets have already started selling. We're not sold out yet but I assume we really will be sold out because the tickets are moving enough to let us know that as an indicator. And now after my announcement, I'm sure it certainly will. So everyone, I hope to see you online then, November 18th or the 19th, whichever one is your category. And you know, we're doing 10, 10 sipping shops and then we're going to come down and take our holiday break. So we're at number six right now. I love you all. Thank you so much. I had a good time today. I hope you all did as well. Hope you're feeling good. I hope you got a lot of um, entertainment and information from me, your girl. Thank you so much. Get your cups, whatever it is that you're drinking. Let's do our final toast. Yeah, let me sit back and relax. We're sitting up practically the whole... Oh, let me cross these legs. Everyone, thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful work week. There, This is Marathon Weekend, y'all. So prayers up for all those running in that marathon. That is a long haul, those 26 miles. So prayers up for them that they stay safe. If you're able to, to go out, cheer them all on, please do. They need it. Um, they need the encouragement. And to you, this is to you, to all of you for being here and for love. Salud. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Sip and Shop Season 3, Episode 6 is 
Ow! Thank you all so much. I hope you have a great day. I'll find my sign in a second and put it back up. Although it fell. It fell from excitement. How about that? And if you want anything, go online. Black Star is waiting for you. Everything's right there waiting for you. Just get your list together and go online. And remember, gift someone the online upcoming lessons. Big, big. They will thank you endlessly for it, for the treat. But more importantly, it will help to elevate their makeup skills. Yeah. Mm. Have a great Saturday, everyone. Love you all. I'm going to sign out first. Wave, wave. I'm signing out, y'all, on Instagram Live. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye. And now, Facebook Live. I love you all. And Roku. Q Vision. Bye, everyone. See ya. See you next week.